So, I have a question for you. Would you consider yourself shy? Would you say that you are a shy person? Are you nervous when you're in the gym? Boy, do I have the perfect workout for you. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see, we are in the gym. We are posted up at UFIT Okeechobee today on this wonderful Friday. And I'm going to be taking you guys through a shy guy slash shy girl leg day. This is going to be a leg day for the people that literally hate being seen in the gym they are nervy they don't want people to look at them or maybe they just still have a lot of gym anxiety either way i'm here with you today and we're gonna get through it together and i'm gonna teach you how to have an amazing leg day while staying in your little corner because the entirety of this video we are gonna be sitting right here grab your energy drink make sure you had a snack and let's go as always we're gonna start with some stretching lower and upper body Here's an Asian squat update, guys. I don't know if y'all saw my deadlift day video. If you haven't, go watch it right now. Link in the description. This is where I'm at with my Asian squat now. I'm getting there. I could balance without holding anything or supporting myself. So, yay. This is definitely going to be more of a beginner-friendly workout because these are going to be moderate to lightweight exercises not saying that you can't go heavy on these just saying that because this is more of like a intro to leg day kind of shy and reserved routine that it might be easier to go lighter weight number one thing every leg day needs to have a squat in it it's a staple squats are great for your quads for your glutes for your core no matter how you do them today all we're going to need for these workouts are dumbbells of your choice and a bench i don't have a bench but i have this because we will be doing hip thrusts literally all i did was go grab my dumbbells and i'm sweating for all of my sets today i'm going to be doing four sets of 10. if that's too much you could do three sets of 10 whatever you feel more comfortable with here's some form tips when we're doing these we want to make sure that we have our feet shoulder width apart and if it helps sometimes at least it helps me with the way that my knees are to slightly out turn our feet a little bit you want to go all the way down at least to the point where your calves and your thighs are making a 90 degree angle and you really want to make sure that you feel a stretch bro squats don't play bro i've been working out for a year and a half squats gonna get me every fucking time all right y'all we gonna move on to one of the workouts that i hate the most i know you're like what second workout um i still hate these we're gonna be doing forward lunges these suck really bad <laughs> so i would suggest that if you are new to the gym that you go lightweight on these these will definitely get you feeling a burn now you can either do these for your glutes or your quads we're gonna do them quad focused today and i'm gonna give you some form tips on how to make sure that it is quad focused when we do it pardon me if i'm breathing like a dog see me i have balance problems i definitely will be keeping my leg on the ground which is fine as well however you need to modify a workout to make sure that you still feel it it's up to you. So form tip whenever you do these, you make sure that you come out a good enough amount to be able to come down to a 90 degree angle and come back up while keeping your spine neutral. If we keep our spine neutral, that's going to hit our quads. If we were to lean forward a little bit, it's going to hit our glutes. Before I get into this, I know a lot of men that don't like to work out their glutes and here's the problem with that your glutes are responsible for a lot of the strength and alignment in the back of your legs all the way down your hammy to your cankles it is still very important to work out your glutes and i'm talking to men specifically i've talked to a couple men a plethora and they all love to say that they don't work out their glutes because they don't want to get a fat ass it's not about having a fat ass it's about having strong glutes because strong glutes equal strong legs so let's talk about form this is called a hip hinge movement right so we want to make sure that our feet are again about shoulder width apart. You want to slightly out turn your legs a little bit. And the whole movement is going to be this. We're going to put a dumbbell on our waist. I have a 50, but again, whatever weight works best for you. Driving through your heels up into your glutes, coming up and then coming back down. We want to make sure that we go all the way down for this movement though, because going all the way down is going to give us a good stretch on our quads. And that's what we're aiming for. On to the next, we're going to be doing some calf raises. These, I usually like to do these on my glute day, but because this is like an overall leg day, we're going to hit these calf raises real quick. So as you can see, I have a plate on the ground. The reason why that is, is because we're going to be elevating the end of our feet and kind of resting the top of our feet up onto that plate. 
That way we get an even bigger stretch when we come up, right? Calf raises are simple. This is a rep. That's it. You can do these with body weight. Um, I prefer to do these with a weight just because it's a lot more challenging. Hi, friend. I did, but he never hit me back. You gotta have a talk with your friend. I'm gonna take a 25 and I'm gonna just kind of hold it up to my chest like this. And I'm gonna do about 12 to 15 of these. I know I said 10, but for calf raises, it's really easy to grow your calves. You have to be just consistent, that's it. So do it until you feel a burn and we're gonna do a nice long hold at the end. Bro, the crazy part is it's such a small, simple workout but it will literally have you unable to walk for days afterwards. If you really want to grow your calves, I would 100,000% recommend doing Smith Machine calf raises. Did y'all ever listen to Comethazine in high school when he was getting famous? I know everybody relate to this. I'd literally be listening to the most gut-wrenching, terrifying trap music I've ever heard on the way to like my hospital job where I help people live. Only when I'm That's enough of fucking that. Now we're moving on to the real finisher. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all the secret. I'm gonna let y'all in on how I got the fattest, juiciest quads you've ever seen in your life. Goblet squats. With these, you're gonna want to elevate your heels on a plate, or even you could grab two separate dumbbells and put your heels up on them. You're gonna want a bit of a closer stance. We're gonna wanna stretch all the way down, almost like as if we're dropping a leg is hot. Now these, I superset them. So I'll do about 10 with the weight, drop the weight, and then I go into failure. This is gonna make your quads burn. In replacement of these, I would do leg extensions. You could definitely do both of these. On a regular leg day, I do both. I do these and then I finish off with leg extensions because I'm a maniac. Yeah, I hate Florida. It was literally just fucking sunny outside. Literally. Do you fucking see how I look after this workout, bro? And this was only with dumbbells? Not gonna lie, I still had a great workout regardless. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me. In the future, I do plan on doing some shy upper body workouts because I know that especially for women, upper body is a little hard to catch on to. The machines are really intimidating. So I do plan on doing some of that for you guys. Let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this workout with me today. If it's killing me, it's definitely going to kill you. And I believe that this is a great segue into getting into legs. It has one of everything, a hip hinge, a single leg movement, a squat, some for your calves. Make sure you head over to my Instagram and my TikTok. I'm going to be posting some content on there as well overall guys again thank you so much for joining me i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you soon bye